years ago, I attended the March ICANN meeting in Marrakesh at a pivotal moment for the ICANN community and the multi-stakeholder model. At that time, I was watching as an advisor to the US Congress, and I'm happy to now be addressing you as the administrator of NTIA, an organization that has led the US government in advocating for, participating in, and supporting the multi-stakeholder model of internet governance. Let me be clear at the outset. The Trump administration has, and will continue, to strongly advocate for the multi-stakeholder approach to internet governance and policy development. Our belief in this approach is grounded in the principle that the internet policy issues are best addressed through the contributions of diverse stakeholders that work to make decisions in a bottom-up, consensus-based fashion. The United States believes that the continued growth of the internet and the services it enables is dependent upon the ability of stakeholders to drive policy decision-making, and ICANN remains today one of the best examples of multi-stakeholder governance and policy development. That's why I'd like to commend Shireen for his focus on ICANN's strategic vision and financial security. This community, including the world's governments, has placed faith and responsibility in ICANN, and ensuring its long-term viability is a welcome discussion. That being said, I'd like to use the remainder of my remarks to talk about policy. The United States continues to see opportunities in which ICANN can improve its policy development process and bring greater predictability and transparency into its processes and actions. A good example is ensuring that ICANN remains committed to its accountability mechanisms and lets those mechanisms be driven by the community without undue influence from ICANN. I was surprised by the actions taken by the ICANN board last year pertaining to the security and stability review team. While I look forward to see this important work restart, I think this case provides an opportunity for the community and ICANN to clearly identify its expectations when it comes to ICANN accountability, the mechanisms for such accountability, particularly around special reviews, and articulating what role ICANN org and the ICANN board should be, have in those processes. The community spent an impressive amount of time and effort to strengthen ICANN as a multi-stakeholder body that is accountable, and it's imperative that the community and ICANN continue to build off this success. As we look ahead, one of the top policy priorities for the United States in ICANN is the preservation of the WHOIS service. As all of you are aware, the WHOIS service is an incredibly valuable tool for governments, businesses, intellectual property rights holders, and individual internet users around the world. I'm pleased to see that ICANN and the community have committed to find a solution that maintains the WHOIS service to the greatest extent possible in the face of data protection and privacy regulations such as GDPR. The United States and other governments in the GAC have stated their commitment to maintaining a WHOIS service that is quickly accessible for legitimate purposes. With respect to the recently published interim model, we're pleased that ICANN was able to pull from so many different interests and needs ex expressed by the community. That being said, the United States would encourage revisions to the model to permit access to the most information possible within the law. We think there is more that can be done to achieve this. Additionally, the United States remains concerned with the uncertainty around how access to WHOIS information for legitimate purposes will be maintained in the period between now, uh, excuse me, between the date of GDPR enforcement, May 25th, and the time when the community is able to develop and agree to a formal accreditation process. Plans need to be put in place that ensure that users behind the already defined legitimate purposes, law enforcement, intellectual property enforcement, and cybersecurity, are not stymied in their efforts to serve the public interest. Moreover, as Yard noted, there remains great uncertainty as to how these proposed solutions will be received by the governments that established the GDPR. At this critical time, the ICANN community would benefit greatly from clarity and guidance from our European colleagues and their DPAs. The United States will not accept a situation in which WHOIS information is not available or is so difficult to gain access to that it becomes useless for the legitimate purposes that are critical to the ongoing stability and security of the internet. We look forward to working with ICANN and the community to see this through. Other NTIA priorities under my leadership are consistent with long-standing US goals. NTIA continues to be focused on protecting and promoting an open and interoperable internet, advocating for the free flow of information, and strengthening the global marketplace for digital products and services. 
Our proactive international agenda includes working with international partners to develop a common view on the technologies and trends that will fuel the internet-enabled economy. This includes a commitment from me that NTIA will remain a strong participant in the ICANN model as the United States government representative to the GAC. In closing, I'd like to say that I'm personally inspired by the work that all of you do. Um, I'm going to go off script for a minute, as I said uh, before in my prior role. It, it continues to be amazing to me that so many people are so dedicated to giving so much of their personal time to these issues. Um, the internet works because so many of us are willing to give our personal time and give of ourselves to see these policies through and make sure that ICANN remains viable. And so my hat goes out to all of you. The democratic principles at the heart of the multi-stakeholder model demand that no stakeholder's voice is more important than any others, and by working through consensus, we achieve our best results. And when that consensus reflects a diversity of viewpoints, we build durable, lasting policies that scale at the speed of the internet. I look forward to working with all of you to strengthen our collective work on these vital issues. Thank you.